British High Commissioner to Ghana, Ian Walker, says Ghana must consider the best way to increase revenue generated internally if it is to achieve the objective of moving beyond aid. He was reacting to a question on whether Ghana should heed to calls by the IMF to reintroduce some abolished taxes or focus on expanding the tax net. The International Monetary Fund has advised government to consider increasing some existing taxes and reintroduce others government branded news and scrapped in 2017 as part of the short-term measures to address the persistent revenue shortfall. One of the taxes it called on government to reintroduce is the 17.5% VAT on financial services, which was once introduced by the John Mahama administration but was scrapped by the present government as it considered it a disincentive for financial inclusion. Another tax the fund called for its reintroduction is the high income tax rate of 35%. Again, it urged government to further increase the communication service tax to 12%. Tax analyst Geoffrey Kansi says this recommendation will increase the tax burden on Ghanaians. We should accept the fact that when they tax the telcos, they will pass it on to the consumers and these persons are the same persons that we want to put proper uh, policies in place to help them so if you pass these taxes on to the, con the to the consumer to the telcos you've done that at a press conference to brief journalists on the upcoming uk africa investment summit british high commissioner to ghana and walker wants government to consider the best way possible to increase revenue generated internally ghana will have to have a tax base that can support the provision of ongoing services. So there's a there's a clear and very obvious correlation between um, you know investment in things like free SHS or investment in health services that presupposes and presumes there will be a tax base that will fund fund that. In terms of kind of what policy choices Ghana makes to move that forward, I think the GRA have set out a kind of a strategy for that. I genuinely don't think it's for for me or for foreign countries to say we think it should be X, Y or Z. What I do think though is that the government is setting out a plan for that, but it's difficult. And the question is how do international partners that share Ghana's ambitions to become self-sufficient? A summit hosted by the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson is a major milestone for the UK and its enduring partnership with Ghana and the rest of Africa. President Kofado will lead a ministerial delegation to the summit which takes place on the 20th of January 2020.